so confused. So confused about soy. I meet women all the time. Not sure if soy is good for you, bad for you. We should avoid it. We should jump into it. So I'm gonna break some of that down for you right here and right now. The number one thing I wanna lay out is that soy is actually not dangerous, not scary, doesn't cause cancer. Here's where the confusion comes into play, right? We know that fermented soy, this is like tempeh, certain forms of tofu, are incredibly healthy and have served Asian populations really well for a long period of time because they're literally repopulating the gut microbiome. Remember all of those bacteria that are swimming around in your belly, deciding if you're gonna be inflamed, not inflamed, have awesome hormone balance or not. So soy does play a role in overall health. The reason it's gotten such a bad rap is because the majority of soy today is processed, it's genetically modified. So we are getting a load of toxins that maybe we didn't get in the past. All soy is derived naturally from soybean. But if you research just a little bit, you'll find that the majority of soybean crops today are genetically modified. So just keep that in mind as I continue to talk about soy. Now the non-fermented forms of soy, and there are a bunch, there's soy milk, there's soy protein powders. In fact, I talk a lot about protein powders in this video right here, so you can check that out if you wanna learn a little bit more. But again, all of these alternative soy forms, remember all the alternative meats, right? The Impossible Burger, there's so many soy foods, soy substitutes for many different foods. All of them, while they are processed, are again derived from soybean and do provide a certain amount of protein. Now, the issue is the amount of processed foods we're taking in, not soy itself. Many folks on a vegan or vegetarian diet are doing probably three or four servings of soy on a given day. What we're finding is like many things, and please don't roll your eyes, there is a sweet spot for soy. A few servings a week, not a big deal. It actually works for you. There are studies that show soy, because it contains isoflavones, actually helps to redirect estrogen in a positive way. Let's think about this for a minute. Estrogen circulating in our bodies, right? As women, we've got estrogen. Estrogen has to be broken down and chopped up to do what it's supposed to do. When things aren't working well, we actually get the dangerous forms of estrogen getting stored in our system. And that in turn leads to all kinds of health consequences. I talk a lot about that right here in this video on estrogen dominance. Now, soy with its isoflavones, flavones, probably not saying that right, redirects those estrogen metabolites in a different direction. It actually down regulates or decreases the amount of dangerous estrogen metabolites in our bodies. So studies on perimenopausal women and menopausal women are actually positive when it comes to soy. But here's the catch. It's two to three servings a week, not three to four servings every single day. When done in excess, we know that soy actually does crash thyroids and messes with thyroid function. It can impact testosterone as well. But again, it's this excess, it's not the sweet spot. So if you're confused about soy, and you're not really sure where to include it in your daily diet, here's some quick rules. First of all, remember, if you're dairy allergic or intolerant, you may also have a soy issue too. There's about a 60% cross-reactivity there. Secondly, bring in the soy, but try to pick a fermented form of soy, an organic form of soy to lower your toxic load and limit it to maybe two to three servings a week. Don't have soy every single day. So again, everything, like many different foods, there's a ideal spot, there's a sweet spot for it. Soy is not dangerous for women. The soy in excess, as we've seen with some diets, is problematic. If you get it to the right place, you actually may work for your hormones, not against them. Don't forget I post new videos every week. Click here to subscribe.